welcome to our lesson on bearing this is uh, bearing part two in part one we learned about the necessary components of bearing that bearing is measured from north in clockwise direction so always you must have north then in clockwise direction you measure the angle given at every point you must draw a compass so we started with the first compass where you put a ruler draw a horizontal line make a mark bring protractor get 90 so that compass now we shall use sliding skills to produce other compasses so there is an example here that q is on bearing is 200 meters on bearing 065 remember this is true compass okay true compass is given using three figure format so 065 from p then we are told r is 300 meters on bearing 120 from q and s is 150 due west of r that could be the new thing i'm introducing due west towards west due south towards south due north towards north and so on so the first thing you do before you draw is a sketch so this is our sketch now in this sketch you figure out what you have been given so you see q is 200 meters on bearing of 65 so this is my first compass this is p i draw 65 from north in clockwise so i get this direction where q is at point q i have to draw also a compass and i'm told r is on bearing 120 from q at a distance of 300 and finally, I'm told that uh, S is due west of R. Due west is in the direction of west. And it is 150. In this question, we are given a scale. One, to represent, we are told that uh, using a scale of 1 centimeter to represent 50 meters so i i find out how many meters are there okay and then i will draw those centimeters 50 goes into 204 times 50 goes here six times it goes three times now one thing you must note when i draw the real figure i cannot write the scale i write the real figures in red this meters 200 meters 300 meters that meters so in the real figure we don't write the scale but the real value so let us try to concentrate our camera down we figure out on what to do so let us figure down here we concentrate now down on the figure so what do we do first is to draw a horizontal line okay i'll draw a horizontal line here we can also make the sketch smaller. We can make this sketch here smaller so that we have enough space. This was 65. Then we had somewhere here. This was S150, 300, 200. So our sketch is up there so i want to use this space i hope it will be enough so what do i do first get the sketch tells us we start from left so i concentrate on left a bit there remember you start with a straight line after using that you use a protractor okay you use a protractor so i put a point here then use protractor to get 90. 
so I get my 90 here. After getting that 90, you draw a big straight line. There. This is my node, and now I need 65. So the first compass is very easy to draw. There, horizontal line, put a mark, get 90. So now I need 65. I bring it back here, put it to the line, then get 65. Okay, that is the direction of 65. So I draw a line from the origin. This is now 65 degrees. So this is P. Then how do I get point Q? Point Q, I get it by measuring 4. Because we said we scale down this by 54, by 56, by 53. So I need 4 centimeters. You will need to use your ruler to get 4 centimeters. So I'll just use this side so that I am uniform. So I will try and get from here 4. So, mm hmm so we can i can use this would be better for illustration this would be better for illustration i want to use i'll use these big figures so i'll use one one two three four this is five six seven eight so this will be my scale using this scale i have to hold there and then I get 4 there. Okay, you, you will be more precise. So I'm saying 1, 2, 3, 4. So I use that there. I open to that. That will be my 4. So I come here and get that 4. Okay, you may not see it. The mark is here. Okay. That is the mark of 4 cm. So I'll be using the same scale. I'm not using the real scale as said, but just to use mine. So this part, we want to draw a compass. We want to draw a compass there. From here. Remember, when you put your ruler, if you put your ruler on Y axis, put your ruler on Y axis, there. If I put my ruler on Y axis, there. It has to be straight along the line. Then you press in. Press it in. Bring this. After that, after getting the exact place, now press this, leave out this. Press that. So you get that. So this line I've drawn is parallel to this. Okay. So the ruler was on Y axis. Now my ruler will be on X axis. Okay. The ruler will be on X axis. There. When you put on the X axis along the line, you press it. I press this now. Then bring this. Let it rest. There, it is resting. Then I draw the vertical line. Okay, so this is my point Q. This is my node. From here, I'll measure 120. 120. So I put my protractor there and I measure 120. So this is 10, you go all the way up to 120. You can see 120 there. You put the mark. After putting the mark, use your ruler to show the direction of 120. So there. That is the direction of 120. So this is the direction of 120. From north up to there. This is 120. 
and this was 65 degrees. So along this, I have to get point R, and point R is 300, but using the scale, it will be 6 centimeters. Now remember, I would used this as 1, 2, 3, 4. So if I need 6, I go 5, 6. I use my compass. So I start from there. This is 0. Hold it at 0. There. And then open up to 6. So it is there. I used 1, 2, 3, 4. So 6, I'll go 5, 6. Then put your compass there and get the position there. You may not see it clearly, but it is here. This is 6 centimeters representing 300 meters. This was 4 representing 200 meters. Okay. So I have to draw a scale there. A compass, sorry. I have to draw a compass. What do you do? Put your ruler on y-axis there. I have there. After putting there and it is straight, press it. So you put there and then press it. So B, yeah. I press it. Then I bring this. It must meet rest there. After that, this is now this is the issue. I take my oops. It has just it is kidding, sliding a bit. So we start again. You put your ruler there. Then bring this exact position. After that, you draw. And see very accurate okay then now the ruler was on y axis then I do this now I'm going to put the ruler on x axis so first make sure it is very well placed on x axis there you can see straight it is straight there press this I press this so that I bring this again it has moved out of position we start again there press this and then bring this there I don't need this I take my and then draw there okay we have that. Then, this is now our point, point R. This is north. So we are remaining with S, 3 meters. Again, I take 3 meters. So remember, I'm using 1, 2, 3. So 3 meters will be there. Three meters. Then I come here, put my three meters. So we have to make it longer. If we may put this right there, then this one we make it slightly long. Three meters. I can even get it from here. There. So one, two, three. So at this point, I have to draw also a vertical line because already the horizontal line exists. So what do I do? I again put my ruler on x-axis. Put your ruler on x-axis there. Then press this. Then bring this. 
hold this hold that then bring this so that is my position s there no this is my position s now today i want us to get one more step bearings so if i join there now i've joined so everything is okay this is 300 meters this is 150 meter this is 200 meters so a few questions that we can be asked that is the additional thing okay additional thing we can be asked bearing of s from p what is the direction of s when you are standing at p so it is from you are standing at p and you want to test the direction to s the direction to s is this one so from north we shall have to measure the whole of this angle up to here because we are told from p so what do you do you take your ruler put it here p and then you read what is the angle i'm getting 100 and roughly 103 okay 103 so the answer here is 103 degrees okay suppose i'm asked what is the bearing bearing of bearing of q from s that means you are standing at s and you have to get us the direction of q so what do i do i have to draw join first mm, get a better ruler we join we join q and s there so that is the direction so i want to get the bearing of q what direction is q when i look at it from s remember it is from north all the way up to that that is the bearing okay so you realize this is 90 this is 90 this is 90 okay now i need the angle from 270 up to here if you are following this is 90 this is 90 this is 90 up to here up to here is 90 so i need the angle this one i add to 270 so it will be 270 plus then you come and get that put at the point that you are required there then you look at this line so it is around 55 55 so i add here plus 55 and the answer now comes to 300 and 5 and 0 is 5 this is 12 325 degrees so this is how you get the bearing this is how you get the bearing so our diagram will basically look like this bearing of q from s i have to join q s so we are asked bearing of q what is the direction of q when you stand at point s that is the interpretation so from s we measure our bearing in clockwise direction so come round up to here but you realize that this this is something that is like that this is 90 this is 90 this is 90 this is 90 so we have the three 90s here which give me 270 
but now this angle here is what I require the one I've shown here okay so that is what gives you bearing now I've done simple question get the question in KMF or any other source first sketch put your mind in the diagram then now you construct that diagram you draw that diagram remember when you have length measurement you don't put the scaled down measurements like for 200 meters i don't put four centimeter i put the real angle if i'm asked about the length you have to measure the length and then convert back okay if i was asked about what is length uh, sq you measure in the centimeters and then you scale it up like you will multiply by 50 because we scale down by 50 so get the real length in centimeter and then use the scale you are given if your scale if the scale is not given then you can choose from your own but if the scale is given and you don't use that scale you will use lose a mark because you are not answering what is asked you are answering your own question remember bearing okay remember bearing if you want to communicate to me this is what you do it is odex robert double t at gmail dot com okay that is how you communicate to me you put that okay until then bye bye